Hello guys, and welcome to another video uh, thinking about what I want to do next. And I had a couple of ideas, a dice tower. I've never made one. Uh, we've got a couple requests over the past months on our Discord channel for one of these dice rolling towers. There's obviously a lot of them, so I kind of want to make it a little bit special, give it my own touch. I'm going to take you through the whole design process. Let's get right into it and see how it goes. Now in Maya, the first thing that I want to do as always is create some basic shapes. I'm only using cubes for this prototype, which is more than enough. For now, it won't look like this in the end, but at least I can test things out. I want the dice to jump from an, one tower to the next one uh, on top of this bridge. We'll see if I can achieve that. And um, that's pretty much the whole prototype. I'm gonna leave a print overnight and we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, I'm very excited. This ran for 24 hours. Just got rid of the supports, took it out of the printer and it actually works. So, well, it kind of works. It's better than I expected, but it could definitely also use a lot of improvements, but check this out. All right, that was not it. <laughs> Here it goes again. Come on. Okay, sometimes that happens, so. Maybe a D6 is not the best for these tests. Come on, really? Now that I'm recording, there it is. Okay, that one just got lost. Anyway, this is what I wanna test right now. I wanna throw a hundred dice and see how many go through the hole and how many don't. I'm suspecting that this slope is too deep, so they're jumping higher than they need to, there's also like a blocking part. Maybe that could be a little bit lower so that it, it's not as high. Other improvements that I need, this hole needs to be a little bit bigger. This one needs to be bigger as D20s don't fit. See that? Oh, this time it did, but if I throw it from here, most of the times it gets stuck in this little door. So I need to improve that. I'm quite happy with how this test came out. I think there's obviously improvements that we can do, but I didn't expect this first one to be as successful as it is. So I got my little notebook here, got my pencil, and we're gonna throw a hundred dice and see how that goes. Let's look for blank page. I'm gonna put here on one side in, out. And this is merely for entertainment. I know there's a couple of things that I already wanna fix. I just wanna know from 100 how many of them actually come out successfully and go through the next door and go down. So we'll count uh, good attempts and bad attempts and see what percentage of successes we get. All right, let's start. Get a sip of coffee. Let's get started. This is gonna take longer than I thought. Okay, so th those were 100 shots. I can already tell there's more of them going out than going in. I'm recognizing a couple patterns here, especially with heavier dice, but let me count real quick. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Um, I just think I did bigger numbers on one column versus the other. 54 were, went in, I think, and uh, 46 went out. It also depends a lot on the die. There we have that number. Uh, things that I want to improve for the next version are uh, making smaller this little hole here so that it actually goes where it needs to go. Make this higher as most of the time the die will hit this part and then it will go out. I need to close this back part so that dice don't go out and make the design look a little bit better as right now it's just cubes. One final, one final shot I want to do is uh, a lot of dice. This is probably gonna be mayhem, but just for the sakes of entertainment, here it goes. <laughs> 